Right, what we're going to do, we're going to take a leaf like that and we're going to turn it into this. Now luckily you don't have to climb a coconut tree to be able to get it because of course there's young ones as well. If you're climbing a coconut tree you can take two palms and if you're doing a young uh, tree like this you can only take one because you don't want to harm the tree too much as well. And what you do is you need to take one of the younger ones. So don't take the very middle one because that's the kind of um, that's the, the newest leaf that's keeping the coconut alive. You take the next one next to it and you need to take those leaves because they are of course nice and fresh. Okay, let's take one. And that's one leaf. And you basically can make several hats from that and also several baskets as well. Now what we want to do is we want to count off exactly 18. It could be different for you, so you might have a head that fits 17, 16, 19, 20. It all depends on how, uh, what size your head is. And I'll show you now in a minute how to measure your head as well and how to set this hole up. It'll all make sense now in a minute. But my head is 18 palms wide, so I need uh, 18 leaves wide. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And all I gotta do. Give that a little chop, just about here, and that's it. Right, and that'll make two hats. Okay, step number two is going to be making a measurement of your head. I've done one already, and you basically place it in the middle of your head, and you take the measurement, hold it there like that. Now you notice I have a piece left over. The reason being is because when you're making your hat, you also have to include these uh, leaves into the measurement as well. We have 18 here, and that's about 18 uh, fonds all stuck together. And then we have the correct measurement for our hat as well. Now you can make it with 11 uh, fonds, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, uh, 19, 20, depending on where you're cutting it at the leaf, because the lower down it is on your actual big palm uh, leaf, the widest they are spaced so you have to just do it with this measurement basically and it's also important to say that starting from the middle towards the, the top of the big palm leaf um, you get actually the best uh, hat making material as well the rest you can just use for making bowls and the reason being is because lower down you have them wider spaced apart and that means that you might only have 11 but 18 is well, I find that the best number. Uh, you can do 16 as well, 17 as well, it doesn't really matter. I'll show you that, I'll explain that bit more maybe at the end of the video as well. Now to take, there's two methods to actually take off the, the leaves, to start preparing the leaves. The first one is where you take your big leaf and you just push in your knife really firmly uh, going in quite deeply and then basically you just split it off and just cut it off the the top and That's one way having selected how many you wanted. That's one way to do it The second way is just to chop off a piece like this and then I'll show you now in a second how to split it correctly as well All right, so we're gonna start splitting it up and basically you you'll see here with a lot of the coconut palms uh, the tips uh, you can really see a kind of a triangly shape so there being a line in here, the back is actually flat and then you have a triangle here and you want to split down that triangle exactly, you just get in there and go up and then split down right down the middle, just like that. There we go. And that's going to be your hat. Right, so we have now our measurement we took earlier. And the way we want to line that up to get it properly is to have it at the back of one of the fonts that we don't want anymore. So we're going to get rid of those. We want to put it, line it up right at that edge. So at the front bit, like that, we want to line it up right there. 
And then we want to add at the back another about that much. And that will become uh, obvious now why I'm doing that uh, in a second. So that's what we're going to do. Take a really nice sharp knife, courtesy of Sativa, good friends of mine, a company I used to work for, a seed saving company. Check out their website, by the way. Really good people. Uh, they gave me that knife, by the way. So as a going away present. And I tell you, I'm really happy that I have it now. Trying to get good knives in India can be difficult. Okay. We cut that off, and we're gonna cut them off about there. Like that. And then, we'll take our measurement again, just to double check, so we know what we're doing. So remember, this is the front, the tip of it, so we have to cut off this guy. We don't need him. And then at the back, we need to include, here at the back, we need to include this fella. But we're gonna get rid of this guy. And there we go. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. So in this case, we're going to make our hat with 17 fonts because that's gonna fit my head. First of all, these fonts are not as wide as I would have hoped. And also the length is good. So you want at least, like from the middle here, they wanna go all the way to your fingers and even further, that's, that's really good. And also the second challenge, of course, of course, is going to be that there's 17, it's an uneven number. But you can, you can do it. So we'll give it a go. Okay, step number three, I think we're on step number three, is you take your fonts like this, and what you have to do is notice that this here at the front is quite thin. At the back, it's quite wide because, of course, it's like a half triangle now. So what we want to do is we want to take off evenly the back section. We want to make this one thickness, entire section needs to be one thickness, and also this entire section needs to be one thickness as well, as much as we can get it. And the reason being is because we're going to turn it like this. Now, it's not going to bend now, and we want to make a circle shape with that. So I'm gonna start carving away, and I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so I've evenly got it down. Um, it's bending nicely, and I wanted to show you this bit as well. So remember when we had our measurement, we had it here at the front, and we just cut it, we could have cut it here, but we left a bit for good measure. And the reason we did that is because when we stick that under, it'll become much more easy to actually tie it on now. I'll show you that bit now in a second. But also what's good is, because when we cut it at the front here, where the leaf was, when we kind of match it up with this back leaf, this bit here, then this the two leaves are gonna be the equal distance apart like all the others as well. So that's really important too. So now we're gonna match this up together like that. Okay. Now what we also want to do is, you notice that this one is not as wide as this one. Can you see that? So what we gotta do is take a little bit off here and then what we got to do this bit is really important otherwise it might come undone later and what you want to do is make a V into both of them so you just cut in there yeah, yeah. line that up again no no it's okay you can get it thanks Jane now it should work and then just cut it down like that. Okay, let me just make another V here. 
You can even make three. Because this is where we're going to put the string now in a second. All right, done. Let's get some dental floss. Go. All right, so we've done that. And now the next step, which is the exciting bit. And I need to explain this now properly as well. So let me just show you. All right, so for this, you actually have to stand. Well, you don't have to, but it's just easier. And okay, so to get the wide base, what you have to do is you have to go under, over, under, over, okay? Like that. Just memorize that because that's really important. But if you're doing, because this is not, these, these funds are not that long and they're also not that thick, so when we want to make the hat thing, we don't want to end up having just little pieces to pull on. We need, which you'll see now in a second, what we need to do is we're just gonna go make a short base. So the base, this is just a demonstration video, so just to show you how to make the hat. And these hats look cool as well. So what you have is like a short base rather than a wide base. So if you went, let me just show you. If you went under, over, under, right? Like that and you just followed it along, under, over, under, over, like that, then you're gonna get a wide base. Now what we're going to do, we're just gonna go under and over, that's it. So we're gonna get quite a narrow base. And here we just do the same, repeat the same steps just keep going around like that now it's also important to have a little gap here so the first two should be quite large and just when you're weaving anything just try to have it tidy that's the main thing as you're going along keep it tidy as you're going along because otherwise it's going to be a nightmare so what you do is in this case you want to turn these in like this see keep them tidy you also want to Press these down as far as possible. And the yellow bit, which is the spine of the leaf, wants to be facing upwards. So don't go like this. And uh, that would be a wrong thing to do. What are we done here? Ah. No, 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 no. This is already a mistake. Because I'm trying to make a video, I'm just not focusing. So. I just went this way, but that's wrong. What we want to do is always go under, over. Next one. So this one is first. This one is second. Under, over. See what I mean? So take this one, it's the next one. You've just done this one. You're going under and over. And now you can start pretty much tightening it up a bit more. It just makes life easier later. And again, just tidy them up a bit. Under, over. I'm starting to see the rim. Under. Over. Yeah, that's good. And the over. See, all I have to do then is have my hand in like this and just then I can hold it like that. Now, most people would just forget about it. They wouldn't tidy this up. And this just, it's much easier to do it now while you can still get at it, you know? So, under. And some people also weave in these things. So we don't want to do that. So we understand, move these out of the way. There we go. I'm just showing you all the different mistakes one can do, you know, so that you don't make them. 
か。All right, so you see all these bits hanging loose. Basically, all I did is I held on to the the one I've just done and just let go of the ones I already had done. So I'm just holding less in my hand, just holding one strand. Okay, so now you can see here. Ignore these. And ignore these as well because they've already been done. What we have here is now two left, and we're going to tie them into this bit here. Now it's also important when you're weaving is follow the one that happened before. Then you can't lose track. That's a re really easy thing. So, for instance, I don't even have to kind of like look at under, over. I don't have to keep that in my head. All I have to see now is like, okay, this one was over. Well, this one has to be under. Okay. Now this one went under. So this one has to. I mean, this one went over here and under there into this gap. So this one has to go into this gap. And this is also important. Don't be tempted to push this through like this because you're going to break the spine, and that is just going to be a headache forever. So try to break as little of the spine as possible, which is quite difficult with some of this. So we want to go under here. So again, here you can bend it, no problem. You can just go like that, no bother. Where it's nice and thin, no problem. So see now here, this one here is a thing where people make a lot of mistakes. I could put that in here, thinking that's the right place to put it. No, I have to follow the one that came before. So again, under this fella. And then we want to put it in through here because this one was going down there, which we just did. There we go. And then we can just pull it tight like that. And then we just go like that, shake it up a bit, and just tidily place one behind the other. And voila! As you can see, This is nice and tight, and this is nice and loose. So we need to tighten this, shape it all up, and then we're good. We'll go back to the place and sit down doing that. Okay? Follow me. Okay, so I've set the camera up in a over-the-shoulder kind of view. So this is the best way to actually uh, show you how to do it. And here we have this area pretty tight already. So all we got to do is push in there. Push this fella in here like that, and it's important to push this one in like that, and just keep going around. Like that. And we want to try and get this down here as much as possible as well. You can also pull, but when you have a wider rim, you'd have more in overs. And so you wouldn't actually do that. And you just want to make it tidy as well. So I'm basically pushing in here, pushing this up, and just locking it in there. While it's holding this, again pressing in, push that under, push that up, and go in like that. It's a bit wider here. This is good. So we want to start here again, just to tighten it up a bit. Okay, that's looking like a hat. Now I could, because there was a kink here, this is becoming now the front. So a tiny little kink actually worked in our favor here. Now it's looser here. There's not much we can do about that, but the shape is pretty nice as well. So I could tighten this up, and I would actually bring this. This would it would round it up a bit more. But just for fun, I'm just going to leave this actually uh, pointy, and then we have a nice uh, shaped hat as well. That's it. That's the base. Now they have to be in sequence as well. This is very important. So you see here. We've come in here. The next one came in here. The next one in here. The next one in here. So now we have to take this one, 
which is that one here. So if you wiggle it about a bit, you can see it move, and then you know, oh, this is the next one. So nice and gentle. Oh, careful. Ah, something broke there. Did you hear that? So I have to take more time here now. So I'm going to take my time and we'll see in a second.